Gen 1, a video generation AI system that can efficiently generate video in any style, all while retaining quality and flex. Oh, wow. <laughs> Google wasn't the only one to make a major announcement in generative AI space. The original startup behind Stable Diffusion Model has launched a generative AI for video. So Runway's new model called Gen 1 can change the visual style of existing videos and images. Let's look at the first paragraph here before I show you the video itself. So Runway, the generative AI startup called uh, that co-created last year's breakout text to image model stable diffusion has released AI model that can transform existing videos into new ones by applying any style specified by a text reference image per se. So in a demo reel posted on its website, which we'll take a look at ASAP in a bit, uh, it's called Gen 1. What it can do is that it can, you know, uh, clips of people on a street into claymation puppets or books stacked on a table into a cityscape at night. We've seen a big explosion in image generation models and he truly believes that 2023 is the is going to be the year of video. Let's just look at the video that the runway team has now posted, right? So let's just open this. Image generation models have taken the world by storm. It's now possible for anyone to turn their ideas into images using nothing but words. The explosion of creativity these models unleashed was years in the making. In 2021, Runway introduced Latent Diffusion, an AI system that was able to generate realistic images using an improved image generation technique. And in 2022, Stable Diffusion, a further improved version of Latent Diffusion that caused a tidal wave of creativity and mass adoption of the technology. Today so before we dive into what, what happens next, right? It's important to note that Stable Diffusion was an open source model uh, and everyone could access it using the model or anyone could you know use the model in order to generate images themselves you know for themselves a lot of people started you know exploring use cases like design mockups avatar generation using the model itself and the same startup who co-created stable diffusion with stability ai which is the main company behind stable diffusion is now working to take forward gen 1 so let's look at what what's it you know announcing today Today, Runway is excited to introduce the next step forward in generative AI, Gen 1, a video generation AI system that can efficiently generate video in any style, all while retaining quality and flexibility. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you can Stability. see how... Gen 1 is able to realistically and consistently apply the composition and style of an image or text prompt to the target video, allowing you to generate new video content using an existing video. We call this approach video to video, and we're incredibly excited to share a few early use cases. Stylization mode. Transfer the style of any image or prompt to every frame of your video. Storyboard mode. Turn mockups into fully stylized and animated renders. Mask mode. Isolate subjects in your video and modify them with simple text prompts. Render mode. Turn untextured renders into realistic outputs by applying an input image or prompt and customization mode. Unleash the full power of Gen 1 by customizing the model for even higher fidelity results. Gen 1 represents a pivotal step forward in generative AI, one that brings us meaningfully closer to realizing the future of storytelling. I don't know if about you, but this blows my mind, primarily because um, this changes, a, changes the game not only for generative AI in general, but it also brings one use case of video to video generation. We've explored how, uh, you know, make a video and imagine by Google look, but this seemed way more realistic and way more promising than both of the models I've seen so far. Um, let's look at the uh, website now and see if there is anything else we can find out about the model itself. Okay, so this is the Runway ML website that specifically talks about the Gen 1 launch itself. It says the next step forward for generative AI, and I completely agree, right? This is the same Gen 1 video that we saw. You can join the Discord in order to explore a bit further. This is the video that we just watched. No lights, no cameras, all action. So realistically and consistently synthesize new videos by applying the composition and style of an image or text prompt to structure your source video. It's like filming something new without filming anything at all. So, you know, based on the understanding itself, you can upload a video. You can define what needs to be done on that video. And this is magic, literally magic. 
Let's keep scrolling, bringing the magic back to making movies. Learn how Gen 1 can turn any video into a compelling piece of art. So you feed in a video, you feed in the driving image. Model understands, pivots the or changes the image depending on what needs to be done. Source video, driving image and then generated image. So the mode one is stylization and I think we've seen all of this in the video itself. You can see how storyboard works where a bunch of books can be showcased as a bunch of buildings, right? So you can see the footpath itself looks like the street, the chairs look like other buildings, etc., etc. Number three is mask, where a dog with black spots, white fur. Wow. So you put in the input video, you put in a prompt, and then the output video looks like this. Mode four render is when you untextured renders into realistic outputs. About it from the standpoint of gaming, you can merely upload the animated characters and these characters can then be rendered in any form as requested. Now the specific characters look like, looks like a bunch of water blobs floating uh, from the 3D render itself was able to do that. So it's crazy, right? And then there's mode five, which is customization where you pick the texture, you feed to the model, you can see how it's it understands. So it's kind of like deep fake, but a lot more realistic in that sense. So a bunch of images, right? This is similar to how you trained for your avatars. Imagine feeding in a bunch of your images and then um, generating a complete video. So if if you want to be a movie star, effectively you can feed a, feed the model a bunch of your images and then render yourself in that movie or that use case per se. New standard for video generation. So based on user studies from Rizal are preferred over existing methods of image to image and video to video translation. 73.53% 70, preferred over stable diffusion 1.5 and preferred over text to live 88.24%. A new era, you know, era for motion and pictures. Gen is a real pivotal steps forward in the mission. If you're creative looking to experiment with the future of storytelling, request access below. So again, I think this is uh, based on <laughs> what I've seen so far. Uh, this is one of the most cool models or most that's to be released in 2023. I'm excited to see what it can do. And I'm more excited to you know kind of play with it because this is going to change not only how animations and content is created, but how videos are created in general. So really excited for this model. If you're, if you're to just, you can go ahead and request, fill in a bunch of details that you, that the page itself is asking you and whenever the model is ready and grant access per se, this is going to be it for the video. I hope you're as excited for this as I am, because this is mind blowing. Um, I've never seen something like this before, right? So I've seen make a video and imagine, but this is, this hits the ball right off of the stadium. Tell me what you feel about this. Um, and I'll see you, see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much guys. Have a good one.